What's up, Coach Hunter here, and in this video, I'm gonna give you the seven most effective strength training exercises for weight loss. And if you're new to this channel, we make fitness, nutrition, and mindset videos on a consistent basis. So if you're looking to improve your weight loss progress, if you want to do it in the most efficient way and most effective way possible, then click that subscribe button to get notified when we have new videos. Without further ado, let's hop into those seven strength training exercises right now. All right, the first dumbbell exercise that we have is the dumbbell thruster. So grab your pair of dumbbells here. Make sure when you're picking up your dumbbells, you keep a nice flat back, use your legs to lift them. And we're going to begin by bringing the weights onto our shoulders, having our feet about hip to shoulder width apart. We're going to start by dropping down into a squat, keeping your knees out, and then pushing through the center of your feet as you press the weight overhead. And we'll repeat. Let me do a few of these here. Now, as I'm pressing this weight overhead, what you wanna make sure you do is drive your ribs down to your belt buckle. What we want to avoid here is hyperextending that back, all right? Think about keeping that core tight and repeating through this movement. So that is the dumbbell thruster. Now, the second movement that we're gonna to move to is a deadlift to a row. So same idea here, keep a nice flat back. As you lift that weight, we're gonna start with the weight at our mid thigh. We're gonna have soft knees, and then we're gonna drive the butt back to the wall behind us as we keep that weight nice and tight and feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Notice how my back is still straight with my gaze at the floor in front of me. Once you get to this position, you're gonna row. So elbows tight, I like to think thumbs to my armpits, and then right back down, and then squeeze the butt cheeks at the top. We don't wanna hyperextend our back, Imagine there's a penny between your butt cheeks and you don't want it to fall, all right? So going down, row, and up. So you repeat through this and you can see how we're working a lot of different muscles in our body by performing this movement. All right, moving on to the third movement, we have the renegade row. So you're gonna have these dumbbells on the mat in front of you and we're gonna move to a high plank position. So I'm gonna come onto my toes, squeezing my glutes. Now, if you wanna give yourself a little bit more stability here, get a wider stance with the feet, but if you'd like to make this more challenging, then I just want you to bring the feet in closer. Okay, from here, I'm going to drive the elbow to the ceiling, and we're alternating side to side, and then in between, you can hit a push-up. You can do this from your knees as well if you wanna build up to that. So let's do a few more of these. Now, as I'm rowing this weight up, I wanna make sure that my hips aren't going side to side. I wanna keep them nice and level. And that is how you do the renegade row. All right, now moving on to the next movement, we have a dumbbell snatch. This is a more advanced movement, but man, is it gonna work all the muscles in your body, okay? So having your feet about shoulder to hip width apart, you're gonna start with one dumbbell at your waist, and then we're gonna start by driving our hips back, letting that dumbbell go just below our knee, and then we're gonna rapidly bring our hips forward, creating momentum. At that point, you're going to shrug, come up onto your toes, and then flip the weight up and catch it, fall underneath it. So that was the step-by-step. -step. Let me do it for you a little bit quicker a few times. All right, so butt back, okay? Weight is at the knee. I'm driving my hips forward, and notice when I do this, okay, I'm shrugging and coming up onto my toes. And then I'm catching it, and right back here. So here, flipping it, and coming right up. Here, flipping it, and I'm falling underneath it, keeping that shoulder locked in, and my arm nice and straight. One more for you. Hips back, drive the hips, keep the weight close, and I'm nice and tall. Again, I wanna drive my ribs down to my belt buckle to keep that core tight. Moving on to movement number five, we have the clean and press. So we're gonna come back and grab both dumbbells, but you can certainly do this with one. Same idea, but now we have both. So soft knees, butt back. I'm gonna use my hips, drive them forward to create momentum, and now I'm shrugging both shoulders and then from here, standing tall and pressing overhead. Same principles apply as 
to that thruster did when we put those weights over our head. We're keeping that core tight. And you want to exhale right up. Beautiful. All right. Moving on to the sixth movement. We have a walking lunge to dumbbell curls. So this one I'm going to do in place, but you can do this walking, meaning you're just gonna walk around with these lunges. So you're gonna do a lunge. Notice what I have here, a 90 degree angle. I'm putting the weight in the center of my foot, and then I'm pushing right up, and then I'm curling, and then I'm right back down, and I'm hitting a curl. I'll give you a few more. All right, and now moving on to that last movement, we have a reverse lunge to a lateral raise. I have way too heavy of dumbbells for this move, so I'm gonna show you without those. Imagine I have some light weights in my hand. So simple, what you're gonna do is reverse lunge, get 90 degree angle, have the knee just hovering, stepping right back up, and lateral raise. You're going side to side to side. That's gonna work your entire body. All right, there you have it. Those are the seven most effective dumbbell strength training exercises that you can do for weight loss. And why are they the most effective? Well, the reason they are so effective in weight loss is because you're working a lot of different muscle groups. If you notice, all the exercises that we did are working multiple joints. They're working your elbow, your, your wrist, your shoulder. For example, when we're doing the overhead press or if we're doing that movement right where we hinged back and then came forward, that's incorporating our hips, our knees, our ankles. When we use more joints, that's gonna use more muscles. And when that happens, you're gonna burn more calories. It takes more energy from your body to make those things happen. So the way you lose weight is not necessarily through just exercise. So much of it comes from nutrition and a calorie deficit. So by doing the exercises that burn the most calories, it's gonna make you more likely to be in a calorie deficit. Now, when choosing these movements, you do not have to do all of these movements in the same workout. In fact, if you do it, you are probably gonna to be toast. I just stemmed those for a few minutes and I am pretty toast. Here's what you can do. Pick a few movements that hit opposite muscles. So for example, our first two movements today were that dumbbell thruster where we used our quads and we used the front of our shoulders here. So you're squatting and then pressing. And then that would match up great with the deadlift. So hitting the back of our legs into the row, hitting the back, upper back muscles that we have. So those would pair very well together. Mix and match those so that they're opposing so that you can Again, hit all the different muscle groups in your body. And I'll even, in the comments, in the description below, I will create you a few combinations that you can use in your workout to get the most out of these exercises. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to get our newest videos just like this and hitting that like button to help push this message and these exercises out to other people with the same goal as you. And also, if this was helpful to you, then you gotta check out this video right here. It's gonna help you continue to move forward in not only your strength, but your weight loss goals. It's also going to feed my tuxedo cats. Look, they're hungry and they get hangry when they're hungry. And I'm telling you, you won't like them when they're hangry.